I am Ed Valerius Carvalho. I'm working as a researcher at Stalin University of Technology, and one of our main research topics is related to the sea energy buildings, where PV systems have a very important role. However, their impact on the energy saving can significantly be improved, followed by a system level optimization. In our point of view, this optimization is strongly connected to DC systems. Compared to traditional AC, the sea distribution inside buildings can improve the integration of PVs and batteries by reducing the number of power processing stages. Additionally, this technology is particularly beneficial for modern applications, which already have this inside. There are several examples of appliances that use the sea, like TV sets, LED lightings, computers, and others. USB-C is a good example of a DC application, since this is the main standard for laptops, phone chargers, and others. Nowadays, the energy consumption of the building scale represent almost 40% of all energy consumption around Europe. It means not only how important it is to save energy, but also highlight how important it is to develop high-efficient technology for the future. Compared to traditional AC, DC distribution can improve up to 20% the energy efficiency at buildings. However, being DC and other development technology you still have a lack of information related to standards, requirements, and application-oriented designs. This is exactly about my research is, including how to define the design requirements and the best portal solutions for this target application. Based on current and the owner development standards, maybe in the future we can expect DC as the main solution for power distribution inside the buildings. In this publication, we we'll investigated the effect of these requirements in the power converters performance. For DC energy buildings, the power converters must operate under drip control. However, conventional solutions for DC energy buildings like two to bridge converters can be led to operate under hard switch. In this paper, the experimental results were present to show how the drip control curves can reduce the converter efficiency. To analyze this effect, the power converter was built and tested under different operating conditions. This is a very important topic for industrial application, since this power electronic solution is widespread in the industry and now there are new target applications.